with Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which is now in its 383rd day. As the battle continues and human costs mount, Ukraine and Russia have reported heavy casualties as the slow grinding fight for uh, control of the salt mining town of Mahmoud continues in eastern Ukraine. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky says more than 1,100 Russian soldiers have been killed in fighting along the Bakhmut section of the front line. We have more in these reports. On the 24th of February 2022, President Vladimir Putin announced a special military operation on Ukraine. As a result, death and destruction followed. Russia sought to invade and Kyiv hoped to suppress as a sovereignty was at stake. The salt mining town of Bakhmut seems to be the new battleground for both countries. Ukraine controls the area to the west of the now ruined and nearly deserted Bakhmut, while according to British intelligence, Russia's Wagner Group controls most of the eastern part. President Zelensky says in less than a week, you have killed Russia's defense ministry has revealed Russian forces has killed more than 220 Ukrainian service members. Both sides have admitted to suffering and inflicting significant losses in Bakhmut over the past few months. Ukraine has repeatedly said the defense of the region will continue, with top commanders saying over the weekend the fight there allows them to gain time needed to prepare a broader counterattack. Moscow says capturing Bakhmut would shake Ukrainian defenses and be a step towards seizing all of the Donbas region. According to Russia installed officials in Donetsk, the city was shelled four times by Ukraine forces on Sunday, affecting residential areas and damaging power lines. <laughs> Tens of thousands of Ukrainian civilians have been killed, as well as soldiers on both sides. Russia has bombarded Ukrainian cities and set millions of civilians to flight in what Kyiv and the West call an unprovoked war of conquest. In September, Russia claimed it had annexed the Donetsk region and three other Ukrainian regions, including parts that have been held by Russian-backed separatists since 2014.